we were given dx dt equals e to the power of negative x. For part A, we're asked to find and classify all critical points. And then in part B, we're asked to find the limit as t approaches infinity of x of t, given any initial condition. To begin, we have an autonomous differential equation because the equation is in the form of dx dt equals f of x, meaning dx dt is equal to a function only of the dependent variable x. The critical points are the points on the x-axis where dx dt or f of x is equal to zero, which means if on the critical points for part a, we set dx dt equal to zero and solve for x, which gives us zero is equal to e to the power of negative x. From here we might think we should take the natural log of both sides of the equation, but natural log zero is undefined, so let's rewrite this as zero equals one divided by e to the x. In this form, hopefully we can recognize the only way a fraction can equal zero is if the numerator is zero and the denominator is non-zero, which indicates this equation has no real solutions. If the equation has no real solutions, there are no real values where dx dt is equal to zero, and therefore there are no critical points. So if there are no critical points, then x of t must always be increasing or decreasing. Let's determine which it is. Since there are no values where dx dt is equal to zero, we'll pick any real number and determine whether dx dt is positive or negative. And let's use the test value of x equals zero. If dx dt is equal to f of x, we determine f of zero by substituting zero for x, which gives us e to the power of negative zero or e to the zero, which is equal to one. This indicates that dx dt is always greater than zero, and therefore x of t is always increasing. Knowing this will help us determine the limit. So now for part b, if x of t is always increasing, or increasing without bound, the limit as t approaches infinity of x of t approaches infinity, which really means the limit doesn't exist. I hope you found this helpful.